Hey, Chris, how are you doing today? And congratulations on the championship. You're good, man. Appreciate it. Hey, what are some of the challenges mentally coming off uh, an emotional finals and jumping straight into the Olympics? Uh, just change your shift as far as um, person, um, strategies. Um, that was a little bit different uh, from the way we played. But over there are different uh, that uh, we were trying to do here, uh, strategy wise. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Joe Bardone, and then following him, Brian Mahoney. Hey, Chris. Good to see you, man. You too. Hey, um, how are you feeling? I feel great. Um, I'm sorry. I'm having internet issues. Um, yeah, my bad. I, so what I wanted to know um, is from the moment the final buzzer sounded, up until now, what was your favorite sort of memory or, or interaction or just something that happened in the celebration and run up to joining Team USA? I would say just right after joining, um, just processing and all that. You know, we were finally years in Milwaukee um, along a uh, grueling season um, for our run that you know, took everything um, from everybody. Um, just enjoying it all. Um, about to have fun and buzz it back in the locker room, celebrating with our friends. Next up, Brian Mahoney, and then we'll go to Ravio Lewison. Hey, Chris. Uh, when you got out there for a few minutes the other night, you know, how did, did you wonder how you were going to feel? And, you know, what, what exactly? I mean, I went to the finals, watch you guys. I have no energy. I can't imagine what it's like having to actually play there and then go out there. How, you know, how is it uh, that first time back out on the floor? Uh, I felt great. Um, besides, you know, I had to do it as a three. Um, Everything felt good. Um, my body felt good. Wind felt good. Legs felt good. Um, I was able to get some rest the night before. Uh, shoot around. Got to try to got to kind of wake up my body a little bit. Um, get around some. So going to the game, I felt good. Ravi Raviak, go ahead, and then Andy uh, from Tab to Portis. This is Rafi Kudat to put that sports talk. Congratulations on being NBA champion. Thank you. You're coming off a championship team. I had to come back from two games down to win two different series. Now you're in Team USA. How do you hope to bring that coming back from adversity mentality onto win the next two games for USA after starting off 0-1 in pool play? Yeah, um, it's tough, but we got to just bounce back. Um, you know, kind of forget you know, the result a little bit of the France game, but definitely remember the mistakes that we made. Um, I think we can we can do that, um, but it's all about you know just winning every possession, um, just playing as hard as we can each night. We go out there, you know, I know um, it's one loss for us, but we feel like we can definitely bounce back. And how does it feel to be playing under Greg Popovich's coaching system? That's uh, good. Um, you know, this is my second time under it. Really, um, just trying to get adjusted as quick as I can after um, playing in a different system um, all year long, but. No, so far, so good. Thank you for your time. Andy, you're up, and then we'll go to Tim Reynolds. I think you're muted, man. Andy, nice. Pardon me, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry, sorry, I was muted on another end. Hi, Chris, hope you're well, first of all. Uh, there's been a rise in talent coming to the NBA from abroad for a while now. I mean, we've had the last three years a foreign-born MVP and a defensive player of the year. You know one of them quite well. I mean, you play with him. What can you say about the internationalization of the game and what it would mean to win in the Olympics now with the level of competitiveness there is? Uh, yeah, the game has changed the past. Years ago, I played with one of the best um, international players ever in tennis. Um, he's the guy that, that talks about watching the race growing up as a kid. And uh, that's just the best thing how the game has grown. Um, these guys watching Kobe, they had Allen Iverson, and Michael Jordan, um, and Shaq, you know, different, different players from all over the world, um, different ages. Uh, so the world has definitely gotten better. They've been fans of the game for a long time, and they've been working on the game for a long time. Um, so to step out on this court and play against them, play in the Olympics against 
know, these great guys and these great teams, you know, um, it's not going to be easy. I think we all know that. I think everybody sees how, how good the world has gotten over the years. Thank you, Chris. Tim, you're up, and then we'll go to Josh Coyne. Thanks, Craig. Hey, Chris, congratulations again. Thank you. Um, Chris, when you're on a team like this, and you went through it a little bit too in World Cup, when you're on a team with this much talent, how, how do you avoid the maybe the inclination that when you're on, when you guys are on the floor together, can you almost be too unselfish? And and maybe you know, and you know, would, I mean, every guy on the floor can score from pretty much everywhere. How do you look for yours and keep that balance of getting other guys involved as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, stepping on guys' toes. I mentioned it last time, it was comfortable for one another. Um, and at the same time, just, just playing your game, being yourself. Um, you know, that's the message that I've heard um, the last couple of days that I've been here, uh, just to, to be ourselves and, you know, play with them, let them do what we do. Um, that's the only way this thing is going to work. Thank you, man. Josh Coyne, you're up, and then we'll go to Joe Harden. Josh Coyne of Double Clutch UK. Chris, congratulations on your recent success. Thank you. You uh, competed, obviously, at the highest level in probably the most intense basketball of your career. And now one of your biggest competitors is on your team, which has to be an adjustment in itself. And all of this off the kind of strangest NBA season in history. Um, you, you, you likely haven't had a time to step back and reflect. Do you have any plans in place to do that? Uh, after this tournament and before the next season gets underway? And what can you share about that? Uh, for sure. I mean, I think get home and see some new teams. That's about the same as I said. I'm more for a couple of years. I'm just going to go right now. Thank you. Joe, you're up and we'll go to James Herbert. Hey, Chris. Um, along the lines of, of what Tim was asking, but I guess. I just want to go a little further on that. And, and obviously Sunday, we won't put on you. You barely had a nap uh, before that one. But but in 2019, um, Team USA, you guys didn't score the ball very well, certainly compared to past teams. And with all the firepower that you have, um, why do you think that is? Why, why do you think that this team doesn't score um, what past Team USA teams did and what maybe your talent would suggest that, that you should? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew, um, I, I guess I would say, you know, I would have the answer, we wouldn't do it. Um, you know, it's, it's tough. The defense um, the defense is great here. Um, the game is a little bit different. We just got to figure out a way to put the ball in the basket a little bit more. James Herbert, you're up, and then we'll finish up with uh, Tyler Boronowski. Hey, Chris. Um, you mentioned everybody, you know, being told to go out there and be themselves. Beyond that, how does role definition work on a team like this? Just, you know, be yourself. As far as you taking on our role, I say much to that. Okay. We all have a great IQ. We all know what a great shot is. We all know how to play the game of basketball. Uh, together, so that's what it's all about. Um, we have so much talent on this team. Want to tell somebody to not be themselves and do what they normally do. That's not their game. Uh, it seems simple because we all, we all felt we could all gel and fit out there. So it's just about being, about playing our game. Tyler, you're up. This will be our last question. Hey, Chris. Uh, first off, congrats on the championship. Thank you. I want to ask about the, the plane ride coming over here. Drew mentioned the other day, you know, you guys try to sleep as much as possible, but when you three did converse, how much conversation was there about the finals? It was actually none. I mean, uh, we all respect each other. Um, it was all about, you know, moving on, uh, moving on and figuring out a way to get this job done here. Um, to sit there and talk about the finals and that's something that was really on anybody's mind. It was all about, you know, moving on to the next thing, trying to get uh, rest and trying to get ready for these Olympic games.